Hi, it's Stuffed Cabbage Adventures, and this is the third episode in our series where we visit three amazing cities in Europe within nine days. And those cities are Vienna, Munich, Prague. So come and join us on these adventures. at the edge of the inner town and I can't be really more excited for this place because this is a historic inner town you may have guessed it we are in Prague so it's gonna be also about beer let's start exploring We are getting more closer to the real old town, inner town, the very touristy one. And so far, we haven't seen too many tourists, but there was one road that was leading to the main market. Now that seems to be crowded, but I don't understand why people don't explore the side streets like we do. This is pretty cool. This is Botanicus Quartus. Now, normally me as a male would not go in there, but my lovely director wanted to get some cosmetics. The smell is really, really nice, and it has an interesting atmosphere. It's like an old pharmacy or something, but really cool. So if you need some gifts for your loved ones, then probably this is a good idea for a visit. This is probably one of the most famous inner town squares, old squares of Europe. And mostly it's populated by a ton of tourists. But we are here at the beginning of October. And it's quite pleasant actually, not too many people. So far, I am pleased. Now it's getting a little bit more crowded. Apparently this is huge for people to look at. I mean it does look nice. The astronomical clock. Now if you look there, that's the most famous bridge here in Prague. You can see the many people walking across it. It will be also an adventure for us to get back to the old town side. So far, I think this one of my favorite spots here in Prague. I mean, just look at the view you get from here. If the sun would be shining, it would be amazing. And we also got lucky because we met a friendly beaver. Who would have thought meeting a beaver in a city? good to see that chimney cake is very very popular here although it's not a Czech thing it's a Hungarian thing 
It's around two o'clock. We are getting hungry. So let's see if we can get something to eat. There's actually a place nearby that we are very curious to check out. We have craft beer and some foods as well. Let's see. Just one street away, there were so many people, so many. Here, I'm starting to be afraid because there's literally no. My producer is the best. She knows I love craft beer and she found this place. And again, we are just basically one street from the crowd and there was literally nobody here. But the beer was amazing. We had this tasting of six different beers and I let the guy to choose it for me. But you can also come here and you can also choose it for yourself from a wide variety of beers. I think there was like a hundred different kinds that you can choose. Now, I definitely need a coffee because that was a lot of alcohol within a very short time period. So let's go and try to find some pastries and maybe a coffee as well. My producer guided us here and apparently there's something I need to find somewhere around that corner. Am I right? Yes. I have absolutely no idea what I need to look for. But let's see if I can spot what should be obvious for me at least. Let's go. Or that. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I think I should have seen that from afar. But wow, poor guy, what's he up to? Apparently that's Sigmund Freud, but it's an art installation by someone. And Sigmund Freud is just hanging in there. Maybe that's, you know, like psychology. In the end, you just need to hang in there, just like he does. Again, this is the place my producer has found. She does know that I love specialty coffee and this is one from Honduras that should taste a little bit like chocolate. Mmm, nice. Definitely something I need after all that beer. The next thing is also some interesting spot to see. And I have no idea what it will be. My producer is really prepared for this particular trip, I can see that. So that's not the head of Colossus from X-Men. That's actually Franz Kafka's head. And every hour during the day, there's some magic because it's all turning around and bringing that real Kafkaesque feeling that the person is known for. Now that we have explored most of the old town, we're gonna go back to the hotel just to rest a little bit because we are also very curious how the inner town looks when it's illuminated in the evening. Now the original place we thought we wanted to visit was actually full. No wonder it was very close to the tourist hotspot. But we looked on Google Maps, you know, what's still nearby, but less um, popular. And we found this place, which was really, really cool. Yeah, so there's a ton of people here, really crowded. I mean, I do get it. The lit up town square and the little streets, they're really nice, indeed.
Now while these tiles here in the pedestrian way look very nice, they can get a little bit slippery if it's raining. And it is raining right now. So for my shoes, for some reason, this is not the ideal condition. So right next to the castle area, there's this really, really cute little garden. And I think a lot of people kind of miss this. They just need to take a left turn and they're here. And this is nice. Probably even more nicer when the sun is shining. But now, let's also head to the castle like everyone else does. I mean, yeah, we don't really like the rain, but if it's not raining, then you don't actually see the gargoyles spitting all that water down, which is kind of cool. So yeah, now I don't mind that it's raining a little bit. So we are right next to the Golden Lane, which is one of the most popular places here in the castle. We've been here once and we wanted to go again but there are just so many people. And to be honest, it is a cute little street. That's how at least I remember it. But you have to pay a ticket, which is around 250 uh, Czech Coronas. You get to go to other places as well with that ticket, but we were only interested in the lane itself. But for this price, with this many people, I don't think we're gonna do that now. It's proof that if there's over tourism, it kind of gets in the way of enjoying things a little bit. So far the rain has been coming and going. So maybe it's best to find some shelter and with the shelter we should have some food. Maybe we will try to find a good restaurant. Let's see. I am really happy we made the decision to go up with public transport and not by using this that way. You have probably seen our previous videos where we have quite a few problems with so many stairs in that direction. If you don't know what we mean, maybe consider checking out our other videos where we go on various trips across Hungary. So far, absolutely no luck at finding some food or any restaurant, but yeah, we are in the hotspot for tourism, so it is no surprise. Okay, we found a place. Let's see what the food is like. Cheers. So this place here is literally a corner away from like the main street where the bridge is with all the other tourists. But we found a seat here and I'm really curious why people don't come here. It's interesting. Nevertheless, maybe the food did not look appetizing from the color scheme and you know, how the presentation was, but I can tell you it was really good. It was really delicious. We enjoyed it. If you didn't have your nightmare fuel yet, then this is definitely it. Penguin! Right there, 
that's the castle area. That's what we have explored so far today. Then we took a tram coming over here. Now that's what I call a very nice view. Now we have the coffee, that means energy, so we can go shopping. But first, we'll get back to the old town because we still have one more thing to do there. First time ever I actually want anything in a crate. <laughs> this place is mainly for the ladies, but even for us men, there are things that are quite interesting, like creams that are made out of beer, or at least have some ingredient of beer. And apparently it is healthy, sort of. Nevertheless, if you do want to get some souvenirs that are good for the ladies, but maybe for yourselves as well, who are men watching this video, the Manufactura has many locations here and they're quite nice. As I was growing up, one cartoon that I really loved was the Kishwa, which is Little Mole. And the Czechs made that cartoon back in the day. And now, for the first time ever, I have a little plushie of the Little Mole. So I'm really happy now. Now these were some amazing 48 hours we have spent here in Prague and the whole journey of these nine days where we have visited places like Vienna and Munich, brilliant, really good, really great experience. We had a ton of amazing food, we had some really, really good beers on our way and we have met some new friends. Hi! Thank you very much for sticking with us throughout all of these episodes that we have shared with all of you. If you have enjoyed them, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have already done that, thank you very much. See you guys in our next adventures back in Hungary. Bye!